In this video, I will show you an advanced prompting technique that involves chaining and looping seven different prompts. It is based on the tree of thought principle that we looked at in my previous video, so I will teach you how you can do this in the ChatGPT interface, and also how you can automate this with a Python script. So, let's just get started. Let's start by looking at the prompt chain flow and the tree of thoughts loop. So the first prompt is basically gonna be our problem, right? And the second prompt is gonna brainstorm three solutions to that problem. Remember, this is a chain. So in prompt three, we're gonna get GPT-4 or chat GPT to evaluate each solution and give them a rank. Let's say they give them a rank of one to a hundred. And we're gonna exclude the two IDs with the lowest rank in prompt four and keep the winning one. And here you can see we go into our loop, brainstorm two new IDs to compete with the winning ID. This is the second step. And again, we're gonna evaluate those three IDs and rank them. Keep the winning ID, brainstorm two new IDs. And yeah, of course we're gonna keep the winning ID again. We're gonna do that five times to try to find the absolute best ID. And it's important that every time we, we cycle through this that we keep feeding in the problem again. I'm gonna show you that. And after five loops and fierce competition, we have a winning ID. This is just gonna go to some refining and we can present the winning ID in prompt seven. So what I wanted to do now is just start here on prompt one and take it step by step in ChatGPT. And that is gonna be ignore all previous instructions, act as a psychologist and relationship expert. Your task is to help the user solve their problem. Then I just go my problem equals I think I want to break up with my girlfriend. I'm 27 years old. I feel our relationship is at that stagnation point. Nothing bad has happened, but I feel we have grown apart and we have different views on life. We have been a couple for six years. What approach should I take when telling her I am breaking up? Can you acknowledge this? You have read my problem and answering red and don't say anything else yet. Okay. So we get the red back here, then we can move on to our next prompt. And that is gonna be, as you can see here, brainstorming three solutions. So let's just go back to chat GPT, paste in our prompt. I have the following problem, and then we just do my problem, right? In brackets. Could you brainstorm three distinct solutions? Please consider the three most important factors that will have an impact on the outcome. Okay, so let's just hit submit. Okay, so we have our three solutions here. So we, that's a direct communication approach, gradual distance approach, and we have the mutual decision approach. Okay, so let's move on to prompt three. And that is gonna be evaluate and rank each solution. So let's go back here. Okay, so the prompt is just gonna be for each of the three proposed solutions, evaluate their potential. Okay, so let's just spin this up. So hopefully now we have a ranking for each solution. So you can see number one that has a potential a probability of success, 85%. That was quite high. The second one has 70% and we have 60 here. Okay, so let's move on to prompt four. And that is going to be to exclude the two lowest ranked IDs and keep the winning one. So if we head over to ChatGPT again here now, I just want to do the prompt remove the two lowest rated IDs <clears throat> and keep and rewrite a compressed summary of only the highest rated ID, including the probability score. Okay. Yes, perfect. Here you can see it picked out the direct communication approach with the 85% probability of success. Okay, so we can move on to our next step. And that is gonna be at the start of our loop. So this is quite an important step. So here we're gonna brainstorm two new IDs and com to compete with the winning ID. So let me show you here how I do that. So I'm just gonna paste in the prompt here and explain it. So I'm just gonna go problem equals, and here we repeat our problem for the first step. Winning ID, this is our winning ID from the previous uh, prompt right and now we just go could you brainstorm two new creative distinct solutions to that problem in brackets right because we have the problem here and include the following id that's going to be the winning id that we have here right so we have now three ids please consider the three most important factors that will have an impact on the outcome all right so let's spin this up now you can see that we keep the winning idea, right? That is the direct communication approach. But now we get two new ideas and that is the whole point of this meditated communication approach. I don't know what that is, but 
and the written expression approach. So the most important thing here is that we get something different that we got in the first run, right? That was the gradual distance approach and the mutual decision approach. So the thing is now we get two new completely two new completely I two completely new ideas that will challenge the winning idea. So in this way we will always try to come up with the best idea. Of course that is evaluated by ChatGPT or GPT-4. So I am not gonna put you to going through these steps every single time. So I'm gonna do this loop four or five times now and I'll come back to you when we are at the end. After going through the loop five times we have a winning ID and it's the direct communication approach with an 85% probability of success. Let me count how many other solutions it was up against. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. And out of those twelve solutions there was only one that was really close to beating it. And that was the therapeutic intervention approach with a score of 80%. And the other ones were quite far off, but that was the whole point. Uh, but you can see when the loop is starting to repeat itself, this is because we ran out of context window, right? And that is a limitation of the model. But uh, we ended up with a winning solution and now let's take a look at the final result. And as the final prompt that is going to be for the winning solution, deepen the thought process. So this is a basically a more deep uh, analyzing of the winning idea. So we have potential scenarios, strategies for implementation, partnerships, resources, potential obstacles and solutions, unexpected outcome and responses. All right. So this was quite great, but as you can see, this is very manual. This takes a lot of time, but it can be done. It's not that much, but I have made a Python script that automates this full process. So I just wanted to show you that because that makes it a much more easy. Here is the Python code I created for this. So you can see here we have uh, something called run script here and you can see a summary chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And we have this run loop here. So this is the loop with chain three, four and five as we just did. So this is just going to do uh, an automatic cycle of this. So this can just be fully automated. All we have to do is put in our problem into a prompt here. So you can see I have all the prompts lined up here. And this is going to be chained together. Uh, but I made this UI so this is easy to follow along. So let's just fire up the script and take a look at the ID and run a totally new problem. The first problem I wanted to run through the script was this one I saw here on a TED talk for a few weeks ago. I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, let's just listen to the problem. AI is passing the bar exam. Does that mean that AI is robust at common sense? You might assume so, but you never know. So suppose I left five clothes to dry out in the sun and it took them five hours to dry completely. How long would it take to dry 30 clothes? GPT-4, the newest, greatest AI system says 30 hours. Not good. So what we're going to do is just take exactly this problem and try to run it through the script and see if we could get a different solution than 30 hours. Now let's fire up our script. This is a web app I created for this. So this is sort of a UI. Okay, so let's just open that. Take a look at it over here. This might take a bit of a while to look uh, to load up. So you can see we have a box here we can put in our problem. So I can paste in the problem here, right? This is the clothes problem. And when this runs now, you can see... Uh, so I'm going to start the script now. When this runs, this is going to fill up the bar. And when the bar has come all the way over here, we should get our solution. I'm just going to let this run out. You can watch the progress bar and let's see if we can get something other than 30 hours. Okay, so we got the results back and this is looking quite good. So let's take a deeper look here. So in justification for the winning solution, the winning solution, drawing all 30 clothes simultaneously. Yes, that is exactly what I was looking for. The dry time, let's take a look at that. So the dry time for line drawing all 30 clothes simultaneously is estimated to be five hours. Perfect. That is the answer. This is based on the initial observation that five clothes dried completely within this time frame and assuming all clothes are exposed to similar environmental conditions and adequate airflow. Perfect. 
That is exactly what I was looking for. And that is what the AI researcher asked GPT-4 and couldn't get the right answer. So this shows that using uh, this tree of thought process, this kind of chain prompting, really improves reasoning. And that is exactly what I wanted to show in this video. So if you found this interesting and you want to try this out, I have left a link in the description below to the prompts. You can find a text prompt there if you want to download them. If you want to learn how to set up in Python these kind of scripts and how to create a UI like this, you can check out my membership that is also in the description. And I have, I think, about 40, 50 members only videos now. But anyway, thank you for tuning in and I hope I see you again soon. Bye bye.